Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Thought I'd throw that out there for the hodlers. It's not always easy. Um, market cap, $250 billion, just under. And Bitcoin had a drop last night. Could have really... Um, my traders all got USD. They were saying, you know, this could get really ugly really quick. And then it seems like at the last minute... Last night was a pretty big battle. A lot of people go to sleep. They don't realize, yeah, this is all short term. But, you know, it can take a one crash or one pump can like really change the outcome of an entire year. Um, whether, you know, the price is going to be suppressed or not. And, you know, Bitcoin could have really easily fell through the floor last night. And we could be looking at, you know, $5,600 Bitcoin right now and still declining. Some big whale, holla at you, came out of nowhere, saved the day. A lot of um, you know, if, if it was a it was a big bear and whale fight last night. <clears throat> it's very interesting. Um, you know, just what are things going on? I've been I've been just studying this, studying this, studying this, and what really makes sense right now is the fact that one by one you have the bank, um, you have RBI, Central Bank of India, basically banning anyone from using any kind of cryptocurrency service so when the biggest bank comes out and tells all the smaller banks hey you can no longer use crypto that pretty much fucks them right if we go back to that one video i made one of the biggest threats to cryptocurrency was this exactly what is happening right now is this it's a classic Let me pull it up all right so they're trying to you can think of this as the crypto they're trying to wall us off. They're trying to wall off the common person. The reason the United States didn't ban it because they're just gonna have they're just gonna slap a credit uh, a creditor investor tag on you, and then that that eliminates most of the general populace. Right? Um, it's still keeping the money where it's always been. Yeah, we can have a new decentralized revolutionary system, but all the coins are going to be in these these assholes' hands. Right? This is what their plan is. So they're trying to block us off. Right? These are the banks. These are the banks saying, no, you can't buy. You can't buy, right? And they're just going to try to swoop it on for the touchdown. And it happens very quickly. The shift happens very quickly. Once they score the touchdown, they win, right? We have our defenders. These are all these people. But this, this, is, this is what they're trying to do. And one of the biggest things is you have... All right, so there's a couple of things. There's a couple of more things going on. So they're trying to block access, right? And then you have tax season, and then you have all of the news that's been coordinated, right? A lot of bad news, except, you know, there's been some sprinkles. There's been some gems mixed in, you know, Soros just invested a hundred million in um, um, zero hedge ICO. There's a, there's a, there's some behind the scenes rumblings. You're starting to see these giants move. Um, zero hedge is basically like a vertasium, you know, they're trying to... They're trying to control, so during the gold rush, they're trying to not sell axe, uh, picks and axes. They're trying to own the store and hire people, right, to, to control the outflow. They're trying to just buy up all those stores around the mines. So, they, you know, people have to use their exchange. They have to go through them. And uh, it's, it's the same bullshit. So the price is just being suppressed. The more and more outside population can't buy in, Right. First of all, you add FUD with the bank saying that and that, you know, the prices in India, people are just trying to get out because they don't want to be stuck with it. And then you have, you know, the government saying, hey, we still want your crypto taxes. The banks is saying, well, no, you can't get rupees for this. And then it's just a big clusterfuck. What is happening? Desperation is in the air. This is one of their final plays. You're going to wall us off and go for the touchdown. The over-the-counter market is as big as I've ever seen it for Bitcoin. It, you know, you see this little number, um, 10 billion, 24-hour volume. It's actually quite low for what it normally is, uh, you know, just under 4 billion. The volume's going down, but the big, big purchases are going over-the-counter. A lot of people aren't using exchanges anymore, and that's one of the brilliant things, right? That's one of the first times ever you can do that. You know, normally you have to use an exchange, bank, 
some way to transfer the money unless you're going to fly the, the cash over in an airplane. You have to transfer, you know, back in the day, you have to transfer the money from one end to another. Now you don't need that. Exchanges are going to become a joke. That's where the plebs are going to go to buy their coins. The, the people who don't have millions and millions of dollars, the cheap, you know, the people that buy the pumps and all that. Like the over the counter market is very, very alive with crypto. I can tell you that right now. Um, and it, it's kind of, it's kind of interesting. I guess we'll go ahead and jump to the, let's go ahead and jump. Oh yeah. I saw this, um, this picture didn't hold and he bought a Lambo. Um, five years from now, I'm going to buy a spaceship. And I'm going to put, I did hold, I did hodl. If uh, spaceships have uh, license plates, they don't, I'll put it somewhere on there. There we go. So some of these countries, Japan, Korea, Malta, these that are embracing crypto, because this is the beautiful thing. You have people trying to wall off access, but they don't control the world. That's why they're so, you know, that's why you've been hearing people talk about this one world government. That's what they would really want. But you're never going to get people like North Korea, Russia. You're not going to get these people to join you, right? They're, they're just, it's it's cats and dogs, apples and oranges. It's just it's water and oil. Just never going to mix. Japan, Korea, Malta, these are going to be some of the rich, the populace are going to become very rich because what's going to happen is they're going to wall off all the investors and then they're going to pump the price. You understand? They're, they're suppressing the price, getting everybody to sell, right? All the OGs, all the people who want to just get out right now. Then they're going to make it impossible for the common person to buy. Chop the legs from out, un, out from underneath you. Then the price is just going to absolutely soar because they're going to really control the order books at that point. So it, it's, a, it's getting to be, it's so easy. I can see their tactic. This is all my theory, you know, uh, from studying, uh, picking parts from other YouTubers, ideas and stuff. But I really think that this makes the most sense. The bank, they're cutting off access. That's all they're doing. They're cutting off access, guys. They're going to keep suppressing this price, keep cutting off access till as many banks and as many people can't get into it as possible. Then the price is just overnight, just like it's always has, just whew, happens very, very fast. So, and one of the crazy things is there's another thing going on right now. So not only are people selling cryptos for taxes right now, you have the, the reigning of the news, you know, a new central bank is banning crypto every other day now. And people are panic selling for taxes. A lot of people, this is the first time, you know, this is one of the real big crypto booms. The other ones weren't as public. This one was very public. And a lot of people don't have any idea what to do with their taxes. And they're panic selling crypto just to pay off their taxes. So this, this, this is a whole mess going on. So you have a lot of selling going right now. So until after April 17th, then it should calm down. People ask me about taxes. I have a, a accountant, CPA handles all that, hand them over my shit. He tells me what I owe, and that's what I send. It's that simple. Um, I recommend anyone do the same if they don't, you know, if they're, they're, they're having trouble. Just go get you an accountant, a CPA. Um, it's going to take you, you know, it's going to be a bitch. But, um, you know, high, you'll pay them good, and they'll do most of the work for you. But you also, right now, have coin news being suppressed. A lot of people, to use that great crypto um, daily analogy, in his last video, uh, right now to release news would be shooting blanks, right? There's there's just no reason to release news in the eyes of a lot of coins. So you have people selling off, you have news being withheld, you have the price being manipulated, you have the access being cut off. I'm fucking surprised we're not at $1,000 already. That just shows you the power because there's other people who are like, mm -mm -mm. I ain't having that. They're going to not, you know, they're going to hodl, they're going to buy because... There's a lot of rich people in crypto now. That's one of the things they fucking slipped from under them, and now they're trying to get on hold, have the banks scrambling to block it. Could you imagine if you know the banks did this at the very beginning? None of you know the cat wouldn't have got out the bag. So there's definitely a fighting chance. One of the reasons I hodl the most, um, yeah, of course I trade. I'm a hybrid, but I don't know. A lot of people I know. A lot of people who try to trade and get wrecked. I don't think it's a fucking common thing. I know people want to talk down on hodling. Um, this and that that's fine like it's just long-term investment that's all it's just not want to get shook out the game like what happens one day when you start selling and then out of nowhere you get your your, your access cut off so now you can't sell crypto for for cash and vice versa what do you do then what what happens when it comes so hard to fucking cash in and out yeah you have to trust tether i mean that's a bitch not every everybody wants to trust tether 
Just it's a, it's a lot of things, you know. It's not just okay. I'm gonna trade. I'm gonna swing trade, and I'm gonna guarantee myself profits, and everything's always merry. It's like, dude, especially when you're dealing. The more money you get, the more risk. The harder it is to get in and out, to cash in and out. The more trust, right? The lot that goes on. A lot more taxes you have to pay. You know, if you huddle for a year, depending on where you are, you get a, a significant less um, on your taxes. So you got a big tax break. So, uh, you know, I, I'm not demonizing trading. I have traders, you know, a lot of them are relocating to Puerto Rico. So it's just tax-free trading. It's, um, you know, and they're gangsters. They're helping me preserve and actually gain some, some BTC in this bear market. But, you know, I'm not, I'm just chilling. I, I, I can see what's going on. I'm peeping game. I'm peeping what these big dogs are doing. Um, it's not fair. They're going to fight nasty. You know, they're going to fight real bad. But I think after April... You're going to have countries after the dust settles and you have places like Malta and Japan. People are just going to go there and buy their Bitcoin, worst case scenario. And those populaces are going to become, you know, and then you're going to have, and once people, one of the big things is if, right, I'm not going to be one of these people who say, oh, 100% Bitcoin is going to go up, right? Because anything can happen. We can hit by a fucking meteor. But I'm saying, if we see another bull run like we did before, crypto's in the spotlight now. It's a big difference. This would be the, the bull run to seal all bull runs. And they're really not wanting it to happen right now. Not while people can get access. It's kind of like that one meme. They want to drive you crazy until you have to like quantum portal suicide like crazy. Like they're really like that Vitalik meme. Um, they're really, it's, it's going to be a tough time. All I can say is. Uh, how many times have I preached private blockchains versus public blockchains? It's them versus the public blockchains. The public blockchains, in my opinion, are going to win. They want to control both, obviously. Just a game. I can't really stress it enough. That's what, you know, this is just from my research, tinfoil hat. It makes a lot of sense, though. Either way, they're not shaking me out. They're definitely not shaking me out. You know, get every inch you can. Be smart. Um, do a lot of research because right now it's not so much about looking into that this is another reason like i put in a lot of work on the coins i have i don't like moving coins too much anymore because it takes a lot of commitment a lot of research that has to be done i can now look at the bigger picture and really see okay what's really going to happen and you know i'm up to move anywhere i just think that they don't have their thing you know there's a lot of leaks right now they're trying the hose is, the water is coming out the hose and they're trying to block it with their hands, but it's coming through their fingers in the form of Japan, Malta. A lot of these countries are going to um, spoil their plan, in my opinion. So you know, just be vigilant out there. Um, enjoy the weekend. Cheers. Peace.